interesting news today. Uh, could be that none other than Hulk Hogan, you heard it right, brother, either the latest newest recruit <clears throat> to Church of Scientology, who pop up in the news periodically every five to ten years when Tom Cruise does something eccentric or erratic. But, uh, you know, who better? What a better face for uh, this strange religion than uh, Hulk Hogan, a living cartoon so. <clears throat> And it is that, uh, let me confirm, but enough that it's, you know, people are starting to wonder. He's been dating this, uh, recording this prominent Scientology lady, been there seen together with Tom Cruise, with these various affiliate events, company related to Scientology, tweeting out various Scientology vaguely related things. <clears throat> and uh, that would be something, wouldn't it? I uh, had a little bit of experience with church Scientology myself. I didn't actually remember anything. I just went to the church two times in Kentucky. Uh, during a time when I had a you know <clears throat> spiritual search, I wanted to see comparatively every religion stacked next to the other one back to back for what they're worth. And uh, mixed with a journalistic type of uh, curiosity, I went in there just to see, hear all these crazy stories. I want to see for myself exactly what it is about a pleasant person. And I, from that experience, I know how it is that they market, recruit, and advertise. So it's not a stretch to uh, imagine the chain of events here. <laughs> this uh, woman, you know, I have this uh, prominent public figure in my uh, life and bedroom. So uh, from that place, let's see if we can do something for the church. You know, uh, I mean, I, I pulled off some head scratchers and named pussy in my younger days myself, but that's a different level. But uh, <laughs> so, you know, he, he's been seeing these events and everything. And uh, that would be something, you know, uh, book it at Space Jam, you know, uh, Xenu versus Hulk Hogan. You know, you, if anybody could take down the body things, it would be Hulk. I mean, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, so I went there and I checked it out for myself, you know, and I was reading uh, the books comparatively back to back. I was reading uh, the critique books, the people who had already gone through the work to uh, debunk everything that it was worth debunking about Scientology and the actual holy scriptures of the books themselves that people are still being recruited with uh, to this day. So I'm seeing the uh, sales pitch and the uh, <laughs> Better Business Bureau review side by side. So, uh, <clears throat> and plus, you know, I always had this interest in cults anyway, that sort of mentality. And you know, really, uh, they even look alike. Trump and Eleanor Hubbard visually look almost identically in some visual, visual characteristics. And it's the same sort of, uh, one's religion and one's politics, but it's almost exactly the same thing. Even in terms of the way the grandiosity of the golden uh, floors and all this stuff, it's it's very similar. So, um, <clears throat> went there and uh, I, I, I realized at a certain point, I could probably have a religion. I've taken copious notes about uh, what it was, L. Ron Hubbard was trying to self-heal, I think. Uh, he had these problems or whatever it was. And he was trying to figure out his own uh, fucked up existence and then made notes of it was a, he has some sort of Guinness Book of World Record for the most sci-fi ever written by anybody or something like that, yeah, hundreds of books. So that would be the first red flag to me right there. This guy is uh, a world record Olympian champion as far as uh, <laughs> uh, writing made up shit goes. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a fucking mountain of salt, actually. But uh, <clears throat> so he's doing this. And, uh, you know, it, it's a cosmology of everything in the world. There is actually some interesting stuff in there. You know, it's, it's like, uh, you know, not not everything's black and white. <clears throat> you know, it could be like, uh, you know, Charles Manson saying, here, kid, come here, let me show you some guitar chords, you know. Uh, everybody had a good side to him that were, uh, you know, did some other things. <clears throat> but uh, so he's building up this cosmology of the universe. It, it really it's almost there's no threat to it. It's just sort of like hodgepodge of anything ever that he thought about uh, ever tackling or had an interest in. You know, it's got its own music that goes with it. It's got its own iconography, its own sim symbology. You know, it, it's got its own educational system. It's got this health aspect to it. So it's like cosmology of the whole world from whatever uh, World War II to like, uh, you know, beat Nick here he was involved with. So, uh, <clears throat> and the thing of, <laughs> like that Bill Burr thing where he's talking about Scientology and he's saying, you know, uh, the older religions, it's uh, enough back in history that you can muddle some of the facts and, uh, you know, leave it up to mystery and uh, slide some things into the night. But this is like, this guy was alive 40, 50 years ago. Like he had a bank account, a social security number and more sneakers. Yeah. You know, your guy's, your guy's God is named Ron. So the point is like, anytime you're worshiping a guy or a person, uh, if you're really going to go all the way out on that, 
you're, you're going to inherit secondhand all their psychoses and picadillos and the things, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, reading these comparative books side by side, uh, Elrond had had this uh, grudge against uh, psychiatry because basically they rejected uh, his Dianetics book. They said, this is pseudoscience and we're not going to accept it. So he said, his whole life, I don't ever want anything to do with these people. They're evil, they're the devil, they're the worst. And, you know, all his followers, if they are good students, you know, sometimes being a good student means being a uh, illogical person, but being good students, they, uh, they all hate modern psychiatry and think, uh, you know, it's the devil. And what it was is, uh, <clears throat> you know, I became friends with one of the guys there, you know, uh, he uh, came from, you know, punk rock and uh, weirdness and music and whatever. We had a lot of similar things in common. <laughs> and there's a Frank Zappa song where he's making fun of L. Ron Hubbard and, uh, you know, L. Ron Hoover. And uh, I, I tiptoed around it because I, I, I was leading up to it like, you, you heard of you know, Zappa, right? You know, okay. So, so eventually I eased into the question. Uh, so what do you think about uh, <laughs> talking to my extreme? He's like a little hurt almost. Like, I, I don't know why he had to be so peaky about that. That's like, come on, S satire is the name here. But uh, it was, uh, you know, so he has this mic microcosm of everything in the world in this one little uh, hodgepodge of religion. And it begs the question of what is a religion actually? What is the function of a religion? Is it uh, just something, is it just historical, uh, dusty, antique roadshow piece? Is that what a, a religion is? Like, is it like wine? It has to sit on the shelf for uh, 2,000 years before you can drink it? Or, or is it like a living, breathing thing? Because any religion that ever was was just established by a human being on this planet. So at some point in time. So he just did it in a different time frame. He was just bold enough or shameless enough or criminal or whatever you want to say to just do it. And uh, not give a fuck. You know, like, uh, let's do this and make some money. <clears throat> and uh, you could kind of tell, like, helping people is sort of a goal, but it's a secondary goal. That's sort of like the idea of most uh, pyramid schemes. You know, there are some actual things in there. So anything that he took an interest in, he was going to talk about and write about. And, you know, uh, it was that sort of thing, uh, jack of all trades, but master of none sort of applies here. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's got about education. It's got about health and wellness. It's, you know, it's got about communication and everything, these uh, purification rundowns and they're just eating vitamins and uh, sweating and uh, they do this thing, uh, what is this thing they do? Uh, auditing. I think they call it auditing. Where they do uh, like, uh, <laughs> I did some auditing for free. So I, I was trying to get the whole immersive experience, you know. I, I, I sort of knew the things to say that would make them think that I was going to join and uh, they sent me shit in the mail for like two years after this. but. Uh, I don't even know if I wanted to have my address, really, but uh, eventually I had sent four or five letters and eventually they finally went away. <laughs> but uh, what it was is, uh, you know, you do this auditing and eventually they're getting to the root of your problems. It's like psychology mixed with sci-fi mixed with all these things. Just everything he was ever interested in, just to smash it together and try to make some out of it. <clears throat> and see if anybody will buy it. And another thing would be... Uh, First off, you have to be rich to really be a Scientologist because the pyramid scheme is like, you go to, they have these OT levels and you go to OT level one and so many thousand dollars get to the next one, thousand dollars get to the next one. And then finally you get to OT seven and figure out Jesus was gay and we all came from exploding volcanoes and body things. And uh, you paid uh, maybe 10 grand to learn this amazing fact that someone could uh, look up on the internet for free. And uh, <laughs> so Hulk Hogan, I wonder what it is when he gets to that point, brother. And uh, he finds out all these startling facts about the universe. <laughs> Don't work for me, brother.